What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Abe. This is Eve Online. We are going through the Minmatar combat mechanics through security missions. And this one is Eliminate the Pirate Campers. So just to show you what I'm looking at and what I'm dealing with here, if we pull up the website where we're going to find information, we look up Eliminate the Pirate Campers. It's a Serpentis mission, so it's level one. And it'll lay out what we're up against. So you can pretty clearly see they recommend doing kinetic or thermal damage um, and that we will be taking thermal and kinetic damage. So one frigate, it looks like four different frigates and they auto aggro. So nothing to be really concerned about. Um, if we go back here to the game, we'll just accept this. And so if we recall, it's Serpentis. Now the site said that we should do uh, kinetic or thermal. Um, this is saying thermal or kinetic. I guess it's one way or the other. So we'll just, let's see here. What do we have on the ship right now? We don't have any ammo. And I'll pull off 2,000 kinetic and thermal. We'll just put the rest on our, our slasher, which I've named Pod Boat 1 because, you know, I'm feeling clever. But, uh, but I don't think I need to worry too much about this. So I'm just going to accept it and head on out. Um, I was trying to set up one of my other characters for uh, to make ammo for me because this is something, this is a consideration that you have to have when you are playing a class that, or a uh, flying a ship, I'm playing a class. Um, when you're when you're flying a ship that uses ammunition, whether it's missiles or projectile ammo or charges for hybrid guns or whatever, um, you go through it pretty quickly. And so, for a while when I was playing, I had a Minmatar character that I was running missions with, and I had an Amarian character that was focused into trade and manufacturing, and I was making all of my own ammo, mining all of the ore for it, and sort of becoming self-sufficient in that way. Uh, that character is a long way away from where I am now, so I just ended up buying the ammo that I needed because you work with what you got and it's it's not terribly expensive, but something to think about. So, oh, no, 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 no. I want to go to the location. And again, it looks like we're gonna go up against four different frigates and there's nothing special about this so we're just gonna go in kill those four I'll let you go while I salvage and loot and uh, yeah we'll just take care of this pretty quickly so yeah so I went and bought a stockpile of a little bit of ammo for for each of these um, not too much because I think that once I get past level one missions and into level two which should happen relatively quickly. Um, I'm going to start needing to be using medium level weapons. Let's see here. We'll just line them up. Yep, we only have three left. So, pretty quick and easy. The uh, the little mission breakdown also will tell you if there are any structures in the area worth blowing up. Some of them have loot, so it's good to be aware of this. But this one says there's there's nothing, and some of these missions also have mineable asteroids in them. Um, and this doesn't have any of that either. And we're about done here. So, like I said, this was pretty quick and easy. It was a Serpentis um, mission, which means that we're killing Serpentis. And we need to keep our eyes on this because sometimes we'll get sent to kill Kaldari or Amar. And if we don't want to do that, then that's something that we can avoid pretty easily. So, anyway, that's it for this mission. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.